This weekend marks the beginning of the 100 deadliest days of summer. And we know that happens between Memorial Day and Labor Day. AAA says that's when we see the big jump in deadly car crashes, especially among teen drivers. Now, according to the Ohio State Highway Patrol crash dashboard, we saw nearly 70,000 crashes on Ohio highways last year during that span. Nearly 400 people died in those crashes. And of those crashes, nearly 9,000 involved teens, including 50 young drivers killed as a result of the crash. Many of those crashes State Highway attributes to distracted driving, but drunk driving is also one of their concerns. It's something that we do encounter. Um, it's not uncommon during this time of year to see that. Those that are of drinking age, we encourage you that before you participate in those fun uh, family functions or, or parties um, to designate a sober driver. That message from State Highway Patrol is also the theme of a school project by a group of seniors at Orville High School. We caught up with the soon-to-be graduates who spent their final weeks leaving a legacy in their community, hoping to keep teens and adults safe behind the wheel. So excited, Brood, as we were prom this year. Oh, prom night, so a night many high school seniors will never forget. The memories can be comforting <laughs> or <laughs> haunting. A lot of kids, they don't really think about it. You know, they go out and they think, ah, oh, prom, you know, it's just all fun. They don't realize that, that something like this really can happen. Inside the halls of Orville High School, students say they recognize the dangers and the consequences that come with drinking and driving. My family could suffer or my friends around me could be impacted in, in a, a heartbreaking way. So with the help of their video production teacher, turn the volume up a little bit on that part. A group of seniors put together a short film. I love when anything's student led because it shows that, you know, they really are going to care and they're going to really try hard and uh, put a lot of effort in it. Hoping to save a life. We keep saying if we can even just get one kid to not drink and drive from watching the video, then we did our job. A tall task for a class of graduating seniors, but the close knit community of Orville was there every step of the way. Okay? Police, fire, EMS, all stepping in to help teach a timely lesson. With kids, you really have to be honest with them. You have to be open and transparent. I like I always tell them, we're not dumb. We know when you guys are going out to parties, some way, somehow, alcohol is going to be available to you. This is the real deal. And you know, when, we're, when we go out on the calls and, and we're cutting people out, and we've done it many times, and in and, and high school kids, we've done it. Um, this is, it, it hits home. Students also got to showcase their talents. She did like all of the special effects or giving me bruises and cuts on all of us. It looks so real too, so. Although the makeup, special effects, and scenes were fake, the feeling was very real. Just being in an actor in a video, you know, you're just in front of a camera or whatever, but so it was kind of humbling to me too. Being in the video itself like makes me never want yeah. to be a part of anything like that. Seeing my other friends like that is like terrifying. If that were to be real, I would not know what to do. Less than a month since they posted the film on YouTube and already more than 5,000 have tuned in. The impact, however, is far greater than the numbers. A guy, I think he graduated from Orville um, back, back in the 80s or 90s and he had lost a friend in high school and um, through a similar incident and he said that it touched him and it was very realistic for him. It doesn't matter if you're 16, 17, 18 or if you're 30, 40, 50, um, if you're going to drink, get a ride. The seniors at Orville High School will don their cap and gowns and walk across the stage this Sunday. Congrats to them. Their video production teacher says it's going to be hard to top what this class did, but he's going to continue giving students the freedom to create these powerful stories. And as we've seen, definitely this one has impacted yeah. a lot of people. You could tell they felt it, and I yeah. think they got the message. Now, hopefully other young people will get it as well. It's important that they do.